Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so say if you've bought a new computer with Windows 11 installed on it and you've opened it up and had a look and found that your C drive is a lot smaller than what you expected and you've actually got a, uh, a D drive but you know you've only got one disk in the system and you want to merge those two drives together to make one big drive or well, how do you do that now you can't do it with Windows software alone so what you have to do is you have to download a third-party tool something called mini partition wizard and it's completely free so that's fine so all we need to do is go into Microsoft Edge and once we're in there go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen not the search bar in the middle of the screen but the address bar right at the very top okay click in there delete out anything that might be in there and type partition wizard.com that's P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N-W-I-Z-A-R-D.com. All in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then if you've typed it correctly, then you should have this screen appear. Go to for home and then down to partition wizard free. Left click once on that. Once this page loads, scroll down and go down to download now. Move your mouse over that, left click once. And then if we're using Edge up in the top right hand corner, it should start to download. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It just depends on the speed of your internet connection. Just be patient with it. And when it's loaded, it will tell you. And there we go, mine's downloaded. I can tell that because it's actually got the word open file below it. Move your mouse over open file, left click once. Then you'll see this box appear saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure that it says Minitool Partition Wizard and make sure that the verified publisher is Minitool Software Limited. If it is, move your mouse over yes, left click once. Select your language from the list here, then click on OK. Now it's asking you, do you want what software do you want to install? So I don't want to install Minitool Shadow Maker and I don't want to participate in the customer experience improvement program. So I'm just going to remove the ticks from those two boxes, but leave the tick to the left of mini tool partition wizard free. Move your mouse over next, left click, left click next again. And now it's downloading and it will start to install once it's downloaded. Just be patient with this. As I say, once again, it could take a little bit of time. There we go, it's now downloaded and it's now installing. And then once it's installed, you get this finish box here. So move your mouse over that, left click once. Now you might get a couple of boxes come up on the screen, just click on OK. And you might get one of these, thanks for installing mini tool partition wizard. We can close these down if we do get anything like that. And then we should see on the screen eventually this appear. Now I'm gonna get rid of this message box in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Just click on the cross just there. And then what we wanna do is we've got our C drive here. We've got our D drive there. We wanna get rid of the D drive and basically merge everything onto the C drive to give us another sort of a bit of space on the C drive. So left click once on the C drive, then right click on it. Then this menu will appear go up to merge just up there left or right click on that and it says on this page you can choose a partition that will be expanded to include an adjacent partition so i'm going to click on the c drive there because that's going to be the one that's going to be expanded click next and then i'm going to click on the D drive, which is where I want to take the space from. So it says, select an adjacent partition to merge with the target partition. Now it has to be an adjacent partition. It can't do it if the partition is split between another partition there. So if that D drive was where the NTFS is and the NTFS was where the D drive was, then uh, we couldn't do this. But luckily enough, it is next to the uh, the D drive. The C drive is next to the D drive. So I'm just going to click on the D drive there to say that's where we want to take the space from. I should point out that at this point, make sure you've got a backup of anything important to you because if anything goes wrong here, then you could stand to lose all your data. So please make sure that everything's backed up. So at the bottom of the screen there, it says that it's gonna put any data that's on the D drive, the, the, the drive that we're getting rid of, it's gonna put it on the C drive and it's gonna put it in a folder 
called merged partition content. So, okay, the last things I'm gonna do is now just click finish. And there we go, it gives us a summary of what the disk is gonna look like once it's completed. And once I'm ready to commit to this, all I do is move my mouse over apply just there in the bottom left-hand corner and left click once. So it's come up, apply pending changes. Note we strongly recommend you close all other applications before you apply the pending changes. Well, I've got nothing else open, so uh, I'm just gonna click yes on that. And there we go, this bit might take a bit of time. Please just be patient with it. Don't be tempted to cancel it, turn your computer off. Just leave it, let it do what it's gotta do. I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna come back to it once the partition has been merged. Okay, so it says operation merge partition cannot be completed because drive C is being used now. Please choose one of the following options. Restart your PC, a mini tool partition wizard will automatically finish the rest of the pending jobs. B, close other programs and click retry. Or C, cancel the operation. Well. I'm gonna say restart now. So let's just move my mouse over restart now. Left click once, and I'm gonna let the computer restart. I'm gonna let it try again. Okay, so it's now doing it outside of Windows. It's merging the partitions. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's finished. Okay, so after about an hour, the computer's finally restarted, and let's just have a look. So if I go into a yellow folder, any yellow folder, and then go into this PC here, we should see, there you go. Now we've just got the one drive. The D drive has disappeared, and the space has been merged into the C drive. And all the content, if I double click on the C drive, is in this folder here that was in the D drive under merged partition content. So I just, if I just double click that, there you go. What was on the D drive was a folder called My Photos. Now what I can do is I can right click on that and I can click on the scissors up there or if you haven't got the scissors, click on cut and then I can go into whatever folder. I mean, it makes sense for me to go into the pictures folder there and then right click anywhere in a blank area on the pictures and click on that paste icon. If you don't have a paste icon, then click on the word paste just there. And there we go. That's moved it from that folder into a much more accessible folder. So there you go. That guide showed you how to merge two drives or two drive partitions into one to give you more space on your PC or laptop. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.